so here how to find out the compound interest when interest is compounded half yearly so half yearly means every half year means every six months that interest will be added in the principal again it will be counted so every half year only that interest will be calculated so let us see the problem so before seeing the problem so we'll see the formula how to prepare the formula for compound interest when interest is compounded half yearly first of all let principal be p okay principal is equals to p and rate rate is equals to r percent this is the given data so they'll give the question per annum rate is per annum and time is equal to given as n years n years now when you come to the compounded half year limits then principal will not change the same then principal that is same rupees p only and rate rate is r percent but when you compounded half yearly it will be half of that that is r by 2 r by 2 percent per half year okay now time is equals to actually n years n years means how many half years in n years is 2n 2n half years because every year 2 half years so n years means 2n half years so 2n half years for example 3 years means 3 into 2 6 half years will come time so based on this we can make the formula for amount so amount is equals to now p into One plus R by R is nothing but R by two. So R by two by hundred. So R by two into hundred. Power previous is n, but now two n. Okay, R becomes R by two and n becomes two n. Same amount formula only compound interest, but formula will be changed like this. This is when compounded half yearly. We'll apply this formula. This formula will use in this problems whenever they asked for compound interest compounded of here. Okay, let us solve the problems now. So one question is here. Find the compound interest. Find the compound interest on rupees 1,25,000 at 12% per annum for one and of one and a half years compounded half yearly Okay, this is the important what they are asking compounded annually or compounded half yearly. So, this is the important we need to check the problem whenever it is a given question. Okay, here compounded half yearly. So, you should use this formula for compounded half yearly. Now, principal is equals to 1,25,000 and R is equals to. 12 percent so 12 per annum and n is equal to one and a half years this is r percent now n is equals to one and a half years so one and a half years is nothing but how many halves so three halves so 202 plus 1 3 by 2 
So actually 3 by 2 years. So 3 by 2 years means 3 half years. Okay, in the place of n, we'll ask this, you can take 3 by 2. Now P is 1,25,000, R is 12, N is equal to 3 by 2. We'll substitute in this problem directly. So amount is equals to second so formula P is 1,25,000 into 1 plus R by R is 12 by 2 into 100. So I'm applying formula in the place of R, 12 power 2 into n, n is 3 by 2. Okay, next step 2 to get cancelled, that is equal to 3 will come because 1 and a half means 3 half years. Then 1,25,000, one more 0 into, we can do cancellations, 2 ones are 2, 6. So 106 by 100 all to the power 3. And this if you solve, use cancellations 50, 53 is a 2 table. So 125,000 into 53 by 50 power 3. So 53 by 50 3 times. This directly, if you solve, we will get the answer 1,48,877. You can use calculator. So the calculations also will show you once. Here have three zeros, tons of cancel. Five ones are. Five twos are ten, twenty five are. Again, 5 ones are 5. So, this will denominator will be cancelled. So, numerator is 53 into 53, 53 is 1,48,877. Clear? So, this is the amount. Now, compound interest is amount minus principal. So, amount is 1,48,877. 877 minus principal is 1,25,000. That is a given. That is 23,877. Hence, the compound interest after one and a half years is 23,877. This way you can solve this. So one more problem also will show you. Okay, similar compounded affair and so on. Find the compound interest. Find the compound interest on one lakh sixty thousand here. On the piece one lakh sixty thousand. At ten percent per annum for two years. So compounded half year. So compounded half yearly. This is the mention. So now we can solve. So direct I am taking here P value is 1,60,000 and R is equals to 10% and N is equals to 2 years. So because of compounded half yearly, the amount is equals to formula P into 1 plus R by 2 into 100 with power 2n. This is a formula. So apply the values 1,60,000 into 1 plus r by 
that is 10 by 2 into 100 or 2 into n so 2 into n is 2 now when I require to simplify this 2 ones are 2 5 again 5 ones are 5 twenties so 1 lakh 60,000 is 2 1 plus 1 by 20 so that is 21 by 20 power 2 into 2 is 4 what is power 4 now this if you simplify 1 lakh 60,000 into 21 by 20 all to the power 4 so 4 times 21 by 20 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 and this we need to solve to get the value we have 2 table 10 table for 4 zeros 4 zeros you can cancel 2 ones are 2 eights 2 ones are 2 fours are Again, we have two twos of four and four ones are cancel. Now, 21 into 21 into 21. For all, if you multiply, so 1,94,481. So, this is the amount. Now, based on this, we'll find out the compound interest also. Therefore, compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. So amount is 194481 minus principal is 160000. Subtract this both, we get 34481. So this is a compound interest. So this is the way we can solve the problems when the questions are related to the compound rate half yearly. So this is the formula we'll apply. Now next we will see when how to find out the compound interest when interest rate is uh, compounded quarterly. Okay, if you understood this, next quarterly is very easy. I'll explain now including two problems.